Cobb County right now, the search is on to find the man who allegedly attacked a woman inside a park. Police are now adding more patrols. This all happened by East Cobb Park, just down the road from an elementary school and shopping centers. CBS 46 is Vince Sims. He joins us live. Vince, you've been asking questions out there at the park. Give us more details about the attack. All right, we're live right now here in East Cobb Park, and it's connected to Fuller's Park through a trail system, and it's on that trail where the woman says that this man attacked her. But she also says she saw him again later in this park checking out children. Today we spotted Cobb County Police in Fuller's Park near the area of the attack. Police confirm a woman reported being attacked by a man while walking on this trail. People in the park are shocked to hear the news. It scares me because I come here a lot, even with my nieces. Very sorry to hear that. This has always been a friendly place. I have not heard of anything like that before. And According to police, the woman passed a man on the trail who then came up behind her, grabbed her neck and tried to kiss her. She says she started punching him to get him off and ran to call 911. She did good. Uh, more power to her. Yeah, women or anyone should fight if they're, you know, attacked. Usually there's enough people here that if, if you were screaming, somebody would be able to help you. Reportedly, the man returned to the area wearing different clothes where she confronted him and snapped cell phone pictures. Cobb County Police are going over those pictures now, but have not released them as evidence yet while their investigation continues. People in the park today say they will be a lot more careful and on the lookout. Not come by myself and keep an eye more around because I mean even inside so many places where people can hide. I certainly hope they catch whoever it was. I did check with the police and they do have some of those cell phone pictures but they tell me they're not ready to make them public just yet as they are still continuing to investigate these claims. Reporting live in East Cobb and Vince Sims, CBS 46 News.